The Singing Widow. Welcome to EG Stories, the podcast that will help you improve your English from mediocre to excellent. I am Ariel Goodbody, your host for this show. Today's story is for beginners. The name of the story is The Singing Widow. This is a leveled-down version of a pre-intermediate story. You can listen to the pre-intermediate level version of The Singing Widow. The folk tale for today was submitted by listener Daniel. This story originates in northern Argentina, where Daniel is originally from as well. Daniel. Once again, I appreciate your help. By the way, coplas is a type of Spanish folk song mentioned in this story. Okay, I'll just explain some words that are in today's story. A widow is a woman who was married, but her husband died. Widows usually live very sad lives. But if they have children, then their children can look after them. It is not so common to be a widow these days, but it can happen. A tear is water that comes from your eyes when you cry. If someone cries, but there are no tears, they might not really be crying. If you are wearing makeup, Crying can be very bad because the tears ruin the makeup. A grave is the place you put a body when someone dies. Graves are usually in the ground, the earth. You put a gravestone on top of the grave, and the gravestone has the name of the dead person on it. Most graves are next to churches. To float is to sit above water or air. Something that is extremely light, rather than heavy, will float to the top of water. For instance, occasionally, people get tiny yellow rubber ducks that float on the water when placed in a bathtub. The word float can also refer to a light airborne flight. Land is the thing below you, so when you walk outside, you are walking on the land. Plants and trees grow on the land. Land can also mean country. For example, England is a land. Originally, it meant land of the Angles, one of the Germanic tribes. Death is the noun of D, dying. Death is something that we will all experience at some point. So in that way, death is a natural part of life. But also, death is the opposite of life. Very confusing. A deceased person who has not departed from this life is known as a ghost. Although the majority of people do not believe in ghosts, some do. Ghosts typically appear as white sheets with eyes and a mouth in them and make oh sounds in cartoons like Scooby-Doo. Ghosts in horror movies can be really frightening. When someone does, they typically don't turn into a ghost. Ghosts are people who die and do not want to leave. Usually. This is because something happened in their life, and they want to change that thing before they leave. Skin is the outside part of the body. Humans can have dark skin or light skin. Some people have lots of hair on their skin, but others don't. If your skin is hard or rough, you can use moisturizer to make it nice and smooth. Personally, I have quite dry skin, and I often have to put cream on my hands. The tiny, delicate parts on top of a flower are called petals. T 
Typically, flowers have five to ten petals that are arranged in a circle. Petals are typically the most beautiful part of the flower and come in a variety of colours. Petals can be used in a variety of ways, such as jam, perfume, decorations and more. When you smile, you move the sides of your mouth up. It is like a laugh, but smaller. You want to show that you are happy. If you like someone, you smile at them. In some countries, people smile a lot more than in other countries. Sometimes, Thailand is called the land of smiles. Someone who is lonely is alone, and they are sad because they are alone. People are often lonely if they have no friends or family near them. For example, if you move to another country and you don't know anyone, then you will probably feel lonely. OK, so listen and enjoy. The Singing Widow Once there was a woman who lived in Salta, in the north of Argentina. She loved her husband very much, but one day the man died and she was alone. She cried and cried, filling rivers with her tears, until she was dry and empty. She visited her husband's grave every Sunday. She prayed, placed flowers on the grave, sang coplas, and drank wine until she was completely satisfied. She sobbed once more and left for home. Nobody can live this way, floating on a sea of sadness. So one day, the widow cried her last tear, closed her eyes, and never woke up again. That is, she never came to exist in our reality. Rather, she travelled to the afterlife, where she was ecstatic. She could finally see her spouse again. She climbed hills and mountains, ran through the streets of the land of the dead, and inquired of everyone where her husband was. But she was unable to locate him. She asked everyone and searched everywhere, but nothing changed. Her happiness turned to sadness, and she had no more tears to cry. Finally, she returned to the land of the living. Most people who die have no reason to go back to the land of the living. But this woman would not feel happy in death until she found her husband again. And so she walked the road from death to life. But of course, the dead cannot come back to life. So she returned as a ghost. Her skin turned white like the flowers on her husband's grave, and she floated through the air like petals in the wind. When she came to the grave, she did everything like before. She tried to put flowers on it, but she could not pick them up. She prayed, but nobody heard her. She sang coplas, but her voice was not beautiful. She tried to drink wine, but the wine went through her body. Most ghosts float from one place to another, carrying sadness and old memories. But the widow was different. She talked to her husband and listened to him, but really he said nothing. Finally, other people began to see the ghost. Her flowers stayed on the grave, and the wine stayed in her stomach. The only thing that was strange was her hair, which was silver like the moon. She was sitting by the grave when a man approached her one day. After spending a considerable amount of time observing her, he developed feelings for her. 
he wasn't your typical man. Similar to her, he had silver hair and white skin. What are you trying to find? he inquired of the widow. I am looking for my husband, she said, but I do not think I will find him. I have looked in the land of the dead and the land of the living, and now I live between the two. The man smiled and picked up a flower from the grave. Such beautiful petals, but if you take them away, the flower won't be beautiful any more, said the woman. She took the flower and put it back on the grave. Perhaps. If you find your husband and he has lost his petals, will you still want him? I have walked through both lands and I have not lost my petals. And that makes you special. But if you look for someone for a long time and you cannot find them, maybe that person does not want you to find them. The widow laughed coldly and drank some wine. He was my whole world. If I cannot find him, then what should I search for? Should I try to return to the land of the dead? It is an empty place if he is not there. The man offered his hand to her. There are those in the land of the living who do want to be found. Will you go for a ride with me? The man showed her his horse. The animal too was white and had long silver hair. The man said, she is lonely, just like us. And who said I was lonely, said the woman. But she smiled. Fine, take me for a ride. So they got on his horse and rode away from the grave. The woman soon found that there were other ways to live. Now she had a man and a lovely horse to sing copeless and drink wine with. She could smile and she could cry when she needed to. She never found her husband but she was not lonely. And wasn't that enough? So be careful if you ride through the town of Salta. You might see a man and a woman riding a horse with silver hair and white skin. Don't look them in the eye or you'll feel the coldness of death, but you also might feel a fire of love. The end. Thank you for listening and see you soon.